into an almost century old theater. Central Theater was built in the 1930s when Clark Gable and Gary Cooper were kings of the silver screen. But it's been decades since the names of stars have been shining in the marquee. Clara Kreit shows us how the new owner plans to open the doors to a new generation. From movies to performances, soon this theater will be packed with people, but it will take some work to restore it to its 1930s glory. As you drive through downtown Hot Springs, it's hard not to notice the neon lights acting as a preview for what's to come. It's a big project. Chris Ricks bought Central Theater in December. This is a 1937 Art Deco style theater that I think had just about been lost over the years. His vision, bring that classic cinema feel to the 21st century. Remodeling what is what's happened in the past that I'm undoing. I'm restoring because this is a historic building in the historic area and it should be historic. That starts with taking down what doesn't belong. Careful, careful, careful. Watch your melon. And seeking out pieces that match what remains. I'm on this hunt for the correct theater seating. Once the restoration is complete. When I get done this floral seat, I think 464. Rick's plans to not just show movies on the screen, but bring in live performances. Take all of the talent in Hot Springs and say, OK, guys, we have an outlet. Let's go. It's it's time to perform. While there's still lots of work to be done. We've got a little bit more infrastructure work to do. Ricks can't wait for the day these seats are full as people take a trip back to the golden age of entertainment. And make memories with their families, with their friends, and that's what I'm wanting to do. The theater will be open in the next couple of weeks for limited screenings. Reporting in Hot Springs, I'm Claire Kreitz. Back to you. Claire, thank you very much. There will be plans to bring back the balcony, which will also add more seats. It will take a few more months before the theater is completely redone.